All right, Undateables, what's going on, man? I love you people, man. This is the most consistent show on YouTube right now. It's not a real show. I've got some sweets. Let me just give it to Reggie quickly because he's wearing a t terrible jumper. Uh, I think this is David Louise's sweet, right? Is that right? Candy Kittens, yeah? Yeah, David Louise and Willie Ann and all those guys invested. But I think they ran out of money. I'm sure. Yeah, that was a rumor. You took a lot. Hey, you know them kind of guys. So <laughs> not Jamie Langs? He took 10. That's a good question. David Louise was involved. Yeah, it's Jamie Langs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did I say, why did I see David Louise? Maybe, they, maybe he's an investor. Is it? You want one? You sure, G? No, I'm fine, thanks. Dylan, you sure? Are they the squidgy ones? Yeah, they're like the squash. I love sweets. One second. Oh, I love sweets to the core, man. Sweets are better than food. Everyone knows that. And of course, to top up my food, uh, uh, slash sweets, I've got my um, hot shot, mango and ginger, turmeric, uh, 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 healthy vitamin E shots I'm going to do right now. Oh, it's a different vitamin every week. I've noticed that. It's you know, the one that makes yeah. your tongue go yellow. Yeah. So people are mad that my, my tongue's yellow. They're saying I don't They're bang there. Properly, They're really, really good. They're good. Yeah, yeah I What's love them. Some oil? Hops? Yeah, that's Jamie Lang's sweet company. Is it? Yeah, yeah. They sell it in M&S. Or yeah. Waitrose, one of the other two. I think it's M&S, yeah. Because I don't go to Waitrose. That's more of a Fia Baker thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fair to say M&S have got the best sweets in the UK? What? No. Percy Pigs? No, no, no. They're worse. They're worse. They're worse. What? They're, not, they're, they're all M&S own brand sweets. They're awful. Oh, their own brand's awful. No. Toffees. The pig, the pig is Percy Pigs brand. are Percy Pigs own brand, yeah. What? Yeah. Eminence owns Percy Pigs. Yeah. Okay, so Eminence is number one. You can't walk into Eminence and get Starburst. Starburst or Skittles. Skittles. <laughs> oh my! It's gonna be a long day today. <laughs> Wait there. Be the the Wait there. <laughs> Skittles. The best. You're a you're a mass consumer. You no, no, they are the best. The straw, the the strawberry Starburst, like the, the straw. I, the, I would the say Starburst are up there, but. It's not the best. Skittles. Oh, the the tropical Skittles, the blue packet. Yeah, yeah, blue Skittles are top notch. Mm. Yeah. That's spicy, that isn't it? Oh, it's spicy, man. Oh, yeah, that's the process as well. Ah, oh, I'm back. You said Skittles. Oh my god, Skittles for me should be bad from this country. No, no, no. Skittles. I think Skittles are number one. The yellow Skittles. No, no, no. The the tropical blue packet. Elite. Oh, that, that, they that's kept sour. Me they kept me through my overnights at Mackey's. Is it? Yeah, they kept me alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, the sour ones are bright green. The blue ones are tropical. But if it, it's just, the thing about is when you like, you chew them, it like ends quickly and they get stuck in your teeth. It's like, you know what I mean? It's not But then you get the thumbs up picking it out and eating that. Yeah. Oh my God. See, that's DIY. Do you know man. what is criminal? <laughs> Have you seen the, the Skittles that were just white? So they had no yeah, yeah, yeah. criminal because they had black current and you didn't know which ones were black current. Is it? Yeah. But, not, what? but not criminal because they were for uh, anti-homophobia. So do you want to walk that back? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I hate black current and not knowing what black you current hate black is. black I couldn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> no I couldn't buy, I couldn't buy them because I couldn't eat them because I didn't know which ones were black current. We were talking about that earlier. Black currant, that's the ready salted of sweet flavor. I do, right? I, now I'm allergic to black currant. It's awful. It's bad. It's the worst, it's the worst kind of flavor. But no, but right, black, black, black currant ribena, ribena stands is, is, alone. It's world class. That's a great that's drink. No, no, I hate ribena black currant. Awful, awful, So awful, what awful. ribena do you like? I don't. So what's your favorite chocolate bar? Ooh, you, uh, I tell you what I do don't like. Don't say 12. Now like a nice, a nice dairy milk or teaser. They, 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 teaser. Teaser? Oh, it's the red. Teaser. Is it red? Oh, you know, oh the teaser. Teaser. It's teaser, teaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had? Here's one for you. Have you ever had plain dairy milk chocolate followed by ready salted crisps? Yeah, that's a great combination. It's unbelievable. The salt, the salt and sweet. Yeah, it's sensational. It's the nicest thing you'll ever put in your mouth. There's uh, there's only one bag of crisps that are, are running the crisp world. Who's that? The monster munch. <laughs> Which ones? Um, is it pickled onion? Pickled onion. <laughs> you know what? I would never buy a pack at once a month, but I wouldn't what? say no if someone offered it. Come that's, on. That's the twist though, isn't it? Yeah. If someone offers you a pa uh, uh, just one month a month, you're going to walk into shop and buy two more packets for yourself. I would never, I would I, never actively buy it. I, ever. I, I, at a bar, maybe. A bar? Yeah, at a bar. Monster Munch at a Monster bar. Monster Munch at a bar, yeah. What kind of bar are you going to I was going to say pub, but I don't really, I, I don't go to pub No, pub's anymore. McCoy's. Pub's just McCoy's. Or mini cheddars. Or mini yeah, cheddars. Yeah, mini cheddars bangs up, yeah, peanuts. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the peanuts. The um, don't forget the monster munch chili though. The red ones. Never even heard of that. Still, is it? Everyone has that in it. Monster munch chili. Oh, the red, the red, the red, white, the red packets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, amazing, amazing. Oh my god, you lot are taking me back, man. Serious topics. Serious topics, man. But it seems like you're a sweet connoisseur. Yeah, I, I once did two years no sweets. What? 
That's a sin. Two That's jail, man. Two years, no sweets. I was because I thought to myself, what am I doing? I'm getting spots. I did t- genuinely two years, no sweets. That I, I was allowed chocolate, but I wasn't allowed to eat sweets. And it was one of the proudest things I've ever done. Yeah, I get that. Sweets are pretty gross, though. Mm. They're the, they're great, but they're pretty gross. Can I ask you a question? It's just sugar. Let me ask you a question. Every night around 4 a.m., I get this rash for like 10 minutes. Rash? Yeah, like itch, itch, itch my back. It's always the same place as well. Sweat rash. I, you know, my missus said it's hives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it because I eat too much sweets? Because that's what she's trying to say. Is that possible? Dr. Theo? Is it not just sway? I don't sweat though. I don't. You know I mean, I don't eat, so I don't sweat anyway. Do you, are you, do you actually eat a lot of I, sweets? I sleep butt naked. What? I, I eat sweets every day. That's so bad for you, you know. So is that, do you think it's causing me heart? It's, it's making my body itch? It might be your sugar level just getting too high. And then you wake up and it's just trying to get rid of it. So I've got... you got hives. Is it? I used to... I, I can't lie though. I do. I'm a, I'm a tickler for sweeties. Once, once I caved in after them two years, yeah. It's over. Listen, school dinners was something I stored, man. <laughs> stored? <laughs> yes, of course. Cake and custard, I still roll with it right now. <laughs> Cake and custard. Of course. Do you know how much custard I used to steal in school? <laughs> what? Where, 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 where are you? Nah, I you, swear, Dan. No, I love custard, man. It's got you, you're on, walking man. around with soggy, soggy pockets. Yeah, no, no, one, no one ever checked your pockets, though, How in school, are you even going to scoop out No one hand. checked your pocket in schools, man. I'm telling no you. No checking your pockets. <laughs> you could p- yourself. Everyone, everyone's talking to you just eye level. No one checks down. Never to your lie. You get away with it. I do remember getting to secondary school and being like, nah, this ain't it. Like primary school lunches oh, were world it. class, yeah. world class peas, chips, nuggets. Yeah. You get to secondary school, <laughs> chicken dramas, <laughs> guitar, guitar, chicken. What? That's chicken dramas is like a guitar. Don't you think? <laughs> I had pasta pots. <laughs> you had what? Pasta, pasta pot. pots. Yeah, but pasta pots. But then you also you ask for pasta pot with bean and cheese. Oh my that god. That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. It sounds criminal, doesn't it? But beans and cheese on pasta is elite. Beans and cheese. In any context, is beans on pasta. Mm. God, no, beans I've never thought that. of that, that, you know. Random as hell, yeah. Beans and cheese. I might do that tonight. Beans and cheese. What's the pasta? Is it the um, just the twirly one? The the, 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 the rev ones, yeah. Fusilli. Fusilli. The pillow pasta. Bow tie. Oh, pillow no, pasta. No, it's um. Oh, ravioli. Tortellini. Tortellini. Yeah, yeah is that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're on. pillows, isn't it? Like, the ones with, with where it doesn't come with the oh, sauce straight away. Are you talking about gnocchi? They're pillows. Nah, you're talking yeah, about it's pillow. It's a pillow, bro. Yeah. With ham and cheese in it. Oh, that's, you see, you're adding too much information. What's in it, yours? You buy it, it's just, there's, what's inside? Uh, Chorizo and chicken. Oh. Yeah, it's chicken in there, isn't you it? You get it from Tesco's. Minced meat. Okay. Yeah, minced meat in there. <laughs> that's what I like. You know Chip? Yeah. He used to live every day. He'd go down to Tesco's. This is in lockdown. It wasn't in lockdown, it was after lockdown. Mm-hmm. He'd go down to Tesco's and get a tin of like Heinz ravioli yeah, because it said on it one of your five a day and every day without fail I'd have that for breakfast, lunch. I rate that. I rate that, man. I think tin food is the best way of showing uh, yourself th- you can't cook. I thought this guy's going to die. That, if he had it, that's two of his five a day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is Actually, it? Actually, if you look is at the it? can, I think is it says it? half a You're can. You're telling me tin ravioli is one of your five a day. They're conning people. No, they just- They are, they're conning they people. They just make the least healthy thing in the world and then throw like vitamins on top. So what's your favorite tin like item, food? Potato yeah. potato and leek soup. Oh my God, see that? I can eat a soup leek in- Leek potato, sorry. I can eat a soup in a tin. What, cream what of tomato mean? soup? Oh yeah, tomato puri. No, cream of tomato yeah, soup. Cream of tomato, yeah, oh, really? Heinz. Tomato puri. What do you mean tomato puri? That's, that's what, that's what my, my parents sent me to the shop to get. Do you know what does do the best ham and cheese sandwich? I know, cooperative supermarket. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> go Greg's. on. Greg's ham and cheese baguette from oh, it's Greg's. Too long. It's too long. You too know long. the vegan too ham and cheese baguette in Greg's is really good. It's called ham and cheese with a Z. Is it? Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. That means it's not cheese then. It's it does. Cheese. It's vegan. Cheese. Yeah. Is vegan it? can't be cheese. The Greg Greg slaps. I can't like everything. Greg's sausage is roll like in Greg's slap. Have like, you had the pizza from Greg's? No. Bean and cheese melt with sausage. No. Uh, what? You've never had a sausage bean and cheese melt from Greg's? No. Just sausage roll. You're supposed to be eating beans and cheese. Wait, what? Yeah, the beans. It's are, like the number one. Seller. The beans has to be in the, the Heinz beans has to be in the tin. <laughs> no, wait, wait, hang on a second. Oh, now we're now we're protein. Can I ask you a question? You know, like, you know, a jam donut. It's got no hole in the middle, yeah. yeah. So it's just, yeah. yeah? But the jam yeah. is like it's like bent. <laughs> it's on the bottom right. <laughs> and it's bare. Yeah. 
because you'll be biting, biting. If it's nice, then boom, explodes. What? Yeah, why, why I, know how you, I know how you do it. They like insert it. Because if you look at one of the donuts, they've got a little hole on the edge. They insert it, but obviously they, they just insert wherever it's not too straight. Oh, you meant to find the hole first? You can find the hole first. Well, I'm having sex with this donut, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like jam anyway, so I'll never do that. You get the custard one though, the cream donut. Uh, I used cream to have donuts. custard donut away for me every time I got home from school. Really? Mm, yeah, it's quite dangerous, really. Custard donut or Morrison's cookie. Any news on Rocky? <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Rocky, the, the, the caramel Rocky and the red Rocky. Any, uh, I need some news on Rocky. That was my favourite chocolate bar in school. Oh, Rocky? Yes. Oh my God. You know about Rocky? What's yeah. your favourite, red or yellow? Red. Yeah, red's better than yellow still. I oh, the playing Rocky. Man, that was amazing. What? Um, I, I, they, there's no news. What's going on? Uh, the most recent news was from 2019. Right. Go on. Um, Give it to me. Who did t- They've teamed up with who? No. It, it, Foxes introduced fun size format for Rocky bars. And basically, it's just little bites of Rocky. That was the last thing that happened in the yeah, world of we Rocky. Need, we need, we need, Do we you need... know what I had last night? An orange club. Oh my God. Orange club is uh, a legend. The only problem is you take off the, the part that says club. Now he's got a silver jacket on. You've got to take off the silver. I don't like it when you've got to take off two jackets for a chocolate bar. It wastes too much time. It does make it class. No, it don't. It does make it class. It don't. What's what's it, what's the other one? Kinder Kinder Bueno. Uh, oh, yeah, you open it, it's got, got plastic, plastic inside. Plastic, that's because yeah. it's got a whole load of Shazam on it. It needs to keep it all intact. Mm. There used to be a chocolate called um, Secret. It was a Cadbury's bar, and it had it was like a twirl kind of thing, but inside was cream instead of like flake. And it used to come in a it had a little tray, and you'd have, have to open it, and it would come on a tray. I need to teach you a lot, man. Eyeball sweets. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know about the eyeball sweets? Are they the, the, the really rock hard ones you have to yeah. suck for hours? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A brain, no, no, they were like a brain tease or something. Yeah. No, eyeball sweets was a chewing gum. It was a chewing <laughs> Yeah, but it was rock hard though. Oh. Um, <laughs> they uh, used to sell them at like bowling alleys. Yeah, yes. that's it. These kind of Fun machines bear. and stuff, yeah. 25p for a little handful of Skittles. Do you remember the song for Club Biscuits? No. What? An advert? Yeah. If you like a lot of chocolate on, on your, your biscuit, biscuit join, join our club. <laughs> that was a... <laughs> I used to sing that song when I was a kid, thinking it was a football song. You're telling me something about a chocolate bar? They are racist, man. <laughs> they were racist? talking about black people the whole time. I was singing in my area like mad. <laughs> if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Oh my God, boys, I just remembered the worst chocolate bar of all time. Penguin. No, no, how Penguin's dare you? Quality. How dare you? What? An orange penguin as well. Wow, elite. It was, in my t- it was in my lunchbox every day at primary school. Quality chocolate. Comes with a little joke as well. It does come with a joke. That's what made it special. A chocolate bar has to come with a joke to, to taste good. Yeah, but all crackers come with jokes. Christmas crackers, yeah. And um, ice cream lollies. When you get a Wool's ice cream lolly, it would have a little joke on the stick. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? You guys haven't lived. Do you remember when I was young? Yeah, I used to watch an advert of Gary Lineker and the uh, Walker's crisps. And um, he said to me in an advert that he's giving away five pound <laughs> in these crisps. And I every day bought these. Crisps. I didn't. I didn't even like them. Them days. I never, ever. Found five pound in them crisps. So I'm That's glad sad, man. that BBC have got rid of that. Man. <laughs> no, they haven't. <laughs> they haven't. What? No, they haven't. Okay, well, it's my turn to BBC, tell BBC what you've BBC done said to me. sorry to Gary. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he did. I swear to God. What? BBC said sorry to Gary and reinstated him. <laughs> he has to say sorry to me. He owes me fivers, man. Do you remember the fivers? Too? Have you ever met Gary in the car? I have. Have you? No, I, w- I met Wayne in the car and he's greyed up. Yeah. Oh, I, I met- he's got more grey hairs than Linda. Big up Gary Neville, man. Lineker. Oh, sorry, what, what did I say, Gary Neville? Yeah. Sorry, man. Big up Gary Lineker. Big up I Gary saw, Neville I saw, as well. Hey, I, did, I saw a clip of you and Gary. You put, Gary Neville put you on his TikTok. Yeah, but he didn't tag me. So he owes me a five as well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have words about that. He can't not be tagging you. But yeah, I tried to, I tried to like. Basically, I lied to him. I said I, I support Burnley, which I feel, I, I felt like I did at the time. You're wearing a Burnley shirt now. Am I? Oh, yeah, kind of. My bean, innit? Yeah, but you support Arsenal, but you're an affiliate with Burnley. I don't support Arsenal anymore. What? Yeah. Why? 
I've got a friend called Lippin, I've got a friend called Miles, they just do my head in, I'm poet. They do my head in when it comes to, when I ask to win, they, they say crazy things. But we deserve this. Nobody deserves. 20 years. Some, yeah. some fan bases are 100 years, some fan bases are forever. But we're Arsenal Football Club, we deserve to be at the top. And what, what's happening right now is that it's, a, it's, an, it's amazing, you've got an aura around the club. Do you think Robbie deserves to, you know, celebrate? After all these years of cursing, he allowed me to go on there and cuss Arsene Wenger. Yeah, I didn't agree with any of that. I, I so, thought Wenger deserved more. Uh, those guys allowed, like little, little Zar, you know little Zar? Little, little Robbie? Yeah, you, you never seen little Robbie? Who's little Robbie? Little Robbie's the guy that sits on troops' shoulder and they do Zooms. It looks like they're on Zooms, but they're not. <laughs> they're together in the same room. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, they, go, they sit on Zoom? You, you don't know little Robbie? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Wait, I don't know. You've seen him, but he's, you... He does Troops' no, channel now him. in Barstool yeah. in the US. He calls him Lil Robbie because obviously Troops that's what Robbie Barstool. used to... Troops of Barstool, yeah. That's yeah. sick. He's in New York most of the time. That's really cool. It is cool. But because uh, he does the microphone stuff now, Specs likes to call him Lil Robbie. Who's Lil Robbie? <laughs> 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 what what you, what'd you got a game? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah. I'll, t- I'll play this right. <laughs> Lil Robbie, when he stands up though, flipping out. <laughs> I don't want little Robbie to um, celebrate this Arsenal thing. This is the guy that told us back in Zimbabwe that he saw aliens, right, to you? Yeah. So. So who? He said he saw aliens. He thinks he's he thinks an aliens come to him and touched him on the forehead, and got back up. He he thinks he's done headers and volleys of UFO. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a story, man. Little Robbie, if you're watching, man, if, if, if listen, if you disagree, you come and sit and tell me. Otherwise, we should get Zara on. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be out door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zara's funny as well, by the way. <laughs> oh, man, man. But listen, one thing I'll say though, and T knows, me and T have this argument all the time. I'm a big fan of like, even though it's in a football show, I'm a big fan of like flair and the way like footballers look when they're playing. And um, you're going to argue with me, you're going to argue with Andy Cole. I'm not going to well, forget Andy Cole. But um, you played in the sideman game. I did. Yeah. And for me, you were by far the best player on the pitch. Yeah. Oh, are you sure about that? We said it in a group, right? Yeah, we, we, you and Harry, we thought, were the ones that stood out. Harry really? defensively, and you were on the ball, yeah, you were, you were elite. The way you were playing, like the way you look on the ball, like it's, it's, for me, it's very important. But for some reason, Andy Cole and Tigo believe that that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's, it's about consistency and um, what's it, efficiency. That's what Andy Cole said. I'm consistently efficient. But yeah, but you're techie. Are you techie? Uh, well, I was before my surgery. Who else you this? Technique or efficiency? Efficiency. In your Damn. I mean, that's but what you all, want in your all, team. But all, yeah, but also at the same time, like, you want efficiency. Like if you're at the top level, but if you're just like lower league level, like Sunday League or five side at Shoreditch, you want techie. Mm. That's fair. What was your surgery? I had hip surgery. Oh wow. Yeah, only twenty six year old. 26 years old, hip surgery, I had hip arthroscopy. They oh. went in there, they cleared out the scraped joint, it out. scraped it all out, cut down the bone, did something else, and then closed me up. Was you on crutches? Yeah. Because so, you, uh, could you, could you shoulder shake when you was on crutches and that? So the what? Could you shoulder shake on crutches? Which, which side of the hip was it? Well, shoulder shake. <laughs> I mean, you go, you pick, 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 He's coming oh. back to me. He's come back to me straight away. <laughs> you saw the sick when you was on crutches. As in, have yeah. How did you? How did you figure it out? <laughs> you how did you figure it out? <laughs> you no. He you, he thought about it while answering your question and got the answer when he looked at me. That's genius, bro. Because I can imagine you shoulder shaking. So you 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 obviously Is realized that something you can do. You can yeah, I can imagine. Uh, of course. Oh. I like a little rabbit. I, I can imagine you shaking the room tea. You reckon? Of course. You can imagine it. Yeah, but obviously you can't imagine it because I, what I do, I, I don't... I can imagine you're like very intense. Yeah, but I don't sit there and do it intensively. Well, where do you do it then? I run into my arm, my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, told, I told you, I charge. Charge? <laughs> I charge. <laughs> Just loading up. You, uh, so you're a shoulder shaker? Not during that time. But in general, you're a shoulder shaker? Not really, no. W- was you? Back in the uh, back in the day, like prolific, like was you a <laughs> prolific? <laughs> was you a criminal? No, 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 no. Like tops one or two. 
to imagination or to porn? One of my friends used to hit a record of eight. Oh my God. Eight a day? In one day. And what, he just come and told you I did eight today? That's bad for your skin. <laughs> I said that can't be healthy. Soul. I said yeah. that can't be healthy. He wants to die, man. Of course he does. <laughs> eight. It's impossible. You run out of There's energy, man. There's nothing left in there. There's nothing it's left. It's not of energy, don't it? It's draining, right? It is draining. You fall asleep afterwards. You have a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do it when you had a um, hip surgery. No, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even move. I couldn't even lift my leg up. Yeah, I can imagine. I that. was in- incapacitated. It was bad. Was there any? Was there a time where you like risked it for a cracker? Mm. A what? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say to me? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> 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 Pia, have you ever risked it for a cracker? What? <laughs> have so basically, you ever risked it for a cracker? For a cracker? Like a biscuit? Yes. Yeah, so have you risked it for a cracker? So that means that basically, have you ever like, for example, like shoulder shape, but your door's open and your dad's walking around the house? Nah, they, they, they freak me out. The people that do that freak me out. So you've never been caught? No. Never had a close call? You know, like a tactical? Yeah, like, oh, you're, you're yeah, tactical? No, no. Have you ever seen the ones that go... Mom, and then they start, and they have to finish before the mum comes up. Oh my god! Freaks! What? That's you. What? You've See, definitely, never, you've I've, definitely done that. You've no, definitely. I, done. I can't. <laughs> you know. You know. On Mother's Day, yeah. when I put a picture up, yeah. I was gonna slay her. Yeah, I, I, when I, I was, saw ca- that. I wrote a caption slaying, <laughs> and I thought, now you know what? Just for today, I'll be serious. <sighs> but I was gonna talk about her dreads, man. I didn't even know my mum had dreads them times. I didn't know. It was in none of my photos. It just appeared. <laughs> Seriously, man, see, she's a ghost. She's coming back, man. <laughs> uh, so you never had a close call? No. You have always checked. You've, you you just must don't know. Jacken? The hunch of everyone has, they just don't know. It's just you thought you Get were in the shower. charge. Because Kyle's one, Kyle Freezy's one's bad. What did he do? He uh, uh was watching gay porn by accident, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The gay trip. <laughs> by accident. By accident. By accident. And his dad thought... um that He was a Russian gay guy. Yeah. And thought Kyle was Russian? Yeah. Yeah. He thought Kyle was Russian? Yeah, because Kyle was in Russia at the time. And so the- that was a clo- it was a close call. Wait, so he thought Cal was this random Russian in his house? Gay he Russian. Gay he was Russian. There's a gay yeah. Russian in his yeah. house. Yeah, that's the gay tricks. But actually, it was just his son. Yeah, with his friend. With his friend. <laughs> with yeah. It was a group activity. It was yeah. a group, yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, you've sort of shook your boy, no? What? What? Like, how you. A, gr- a group session? No, a gr- a two. Freezer, freezer crowd. <laughs> so two, a, a two can't be a group. I'm out of TV, be real, like, it's just a pair. A pet? A pair. a pair, a duo, a duo. Yeah, but it's still a group session. If you're a group session, man. Have you played soggy biscuit? What's that? Soggy you biscuit. You never played soggy biscuit. S- no, I didn't. he's played something close to it. So the other week he told us a story about how him and his friend. What was your friend's name? It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, you <laughs> mentioned it last time. Uh, John Medigina. John Medigina. Him Italian. and John Medigina, uh, who was Italian, would be in a room together. They were coned off into their own sections. But they'd both independently be imagination shoulder shaking that at was the same time. He was showing me how to do it. <laughs> no, no hand. I'm coned. So that means I can't go in his area. He can't go in my area. We've got bibs on. Are you looking at each other? Huh? Why have you got bibs on? So just to show that we're not, I'm not ready to come over <laughs> but there. Are you, sta- are you staring over. at him and he's staring at you? He's, no, I'm do, I'm, when I was doing that, I was looking at mine. I'm looking at my, my hand movements, but I've got to look at his hand movements to see if I'm doing it right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a good friend. It's a good That's friend. a good friend. What do you think of that? <laughs> Yo, it's a good friend, bro. Can I, just, uh, can, I just, can I just pull one out quickly for Meza Ozil and Adebayor? Oh, yeah, they retired, didn't they? Meza Ozil and Adebayor retired in, within 24 hours of each other. Quickly, I'm, just... I'm confused about Adebayor retired. He retired years ago, though. He's African, man. That's what Africans do, isn't it? He, he was just... Living up in where's he from? He, he's from Togo, Togo. but yeah. he's living in Nigeria, I believe, and he was playing in Turkey. Was he still playing? No, he was. There's no he was way Adebayor was still playing. There's no I way. I watch him on. I've got him on Snapchat. They call him C. Why do you have Adebayor on Snapchat? Because he's the funniest guy ever. He's so entertaining. I told you my story about Adebayor when I um, did a press event with next to him. Mm. He was playing at Samasi. He played two mm. games. That's yeah. And look at the team before that. So oh, it was a Togolese. Belucha. Belucha. 
He's basically just had a little kick around in Toga, hasn't he, really? He was but, at Olympia before. Yeah, Paraguay. before that. Paraguay. Yeah. And what? And before that, he was at KRS... KS that's Turk. Kayserispor. Yeah, Turkish. Yeah, that's Turkish. Wait, let me just see if there's just... I always like to see if there's anyone in the squad we recognise. Um, Miguel Cardoso. He had a great career. But I was at, um, I was at an event, Crystal Palace, a few years ago. I don't know if I should even tell this story. No rules, tell it, man. We're, we're, we're doing a video with Johan Kabay because he's oh, yeah. about to go to the world, uh, the Euros 2016, I want to say it was. Maybe mm -hmm. it was World Cup. Well, he was, a, that was, he, was, he was techie. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah a good, nice guy as well. But the next uh, people over from us were Chinese media mm -hmm. and they were interviewing Adebayor. Adebayor's joking around with all the players around him. He's having fun. He's really nice with everybody. Goes over there. And the Chinese interviewer says, um, could you say hello to your Chinese fans? Adebayo goes, Han Yuan And the Chinese guy goes, what was that? He said, hello in Chinese. He goes, no, it wasn't. You just say it in English. It's okay. <laughs> Adebayo just starts laughing. He goes, hello to all my Chinese fans. <laughs> oh, still what a stinker from Adebayo. <laughs> They took it really well, to be fair. They shouldn't, they should have rushed him. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big guy. Oh yeah, he's massive, isn't it? He was number six at Real Madrid, T. Well, that was a great intro. And that's all it was. Because now we're going to get to some serious Sundays. Now, serious Sundays is where we ask the crowds, uh, what do you want to hear Theo talk about? What do you want to hear Specs talk about? Have you got any um, trivia? Have you got any riddles have you got any serious questions and yeah they do like have a nice says having a nice is that Vuj yeah that's not Vuj okay but he's half Macedonian half Irish by the way oh that's things. a great mix I've never heard that before okay. yeah, yeah man they, they must have been uh, bingo the poor have it the rich need it if you drink it you die what is it say it again the poor have it the rich need it if you drink it you die what is it the poor have it the rich need it but if you drink it, you die. Yeah. You're good at this, man. I know you're good what? at this. The poor, the poor need it. No, the poor have it. The poor have it. Poor have it. The rich yeah. need it. But if you drink it, you die. I'm gonna go with. Poor have it. The rich need it. But if you drink it, like, I instantly just think of bleach. Oh. What? Great, great riddle. Is it? Is it? Is it something, or is it like? Hypothetical. It's a, it's a, it's a thing because it's got the word. It's a thing. I, I can't. I can only say. Could it's you a go thing. to the shop and buy it? Could you hand over money for it? I guess so. Knowledge. Close. It's oh, something like that, isn't it? Something like that. Um, the poor have it. The rich need it. And if you drink it, you die. Drink it. Yeah. Drink. Yeah. Well, what are the things that you, you can drink and die from? Acid. Acid. Okay, yep. Yeah. Fire. Okay. You can't drink fire. Now what what do you yeah, you can't drink fire, yeah. <laughs> what do you what do you need? What do you need? You need water. Okay, that but that's all you need, right? Yeah. So if there was no water you'd have No water. Sand. Is this it's an avatar, isn't it? So the rich <laughs> have it. No, the rich need it. Yeah. The poor have it. Yeah. But everyone has water. Yeah. Not S, not necessarily, actually. No, no, no. Yeah, everyone has water. Oh, this is doing me in. What do the rich need that the poor have? What do the rich need? Money. Happiness. No, they've got that. Oh. What do the rich need? Happiness. They're rich. They need people to work for them. No, oh, they're rich. Do they need that? No. They've got the money. What do they need? Happiness. Happiness. No, they say they've got it. What do they need? Eh. They need employees. Yeah, the, the, poor, the poor don't have employees. What do the rich need? What? what, what? You know what? You know. Think about why it's so difficult to answer the question. What? What do the rich need? Nothing. That's the answer. So if you drink nothing, you die. What do oh, the poor have? Nothing. So what do the rich need? Get this Mr. Donny the half Irish guy nah, out of my face. It's also the rich do need some some stuff. Maybe that. Maybe they need happiness. Maybe they need love. Maybe they need family. All right. This is a good question. Mm. What's the oldest age Mike Tyson you think you could beat in a fight? 
So could you beat up 14-year-old Mike Tyson? Definitely no way, not. no way. Today, Mike Tyson, definitely no way. not. 95? I'm going to go I'm going to go with 140. Frail Mike Tyson. He can't move. Frail Mike Tyson. Yeah. Where well, he's on the stool, he's ashes. Okay, let's go with between now and his birth. 8 years old. 8. You reckon yeah. 9 nah. years old Mike Tyson. But he has to have up. like You're going to beat up an 8-year-old. No, 80. No, no, like between now yeah. and his birth. So nothing after now. Oh. At what age does it become acceptable to beat up a child? Uh but I'm am I an adult or am I a child? I'm an adult. I can't have him. At t- I can't have him when he's. As soon as he's hit secondary school, I can't have him. Yeah. His nose is wham them yeah. times. But also, could you bring yourself to beat up a child? I mean, my, my son. I'm very close to beating up my son. <laughs> <laughs> my, How much money do you win if you do this? I mean, you either get beat up or you beat him up. I think I'd take him at. I think I'd have to take him at eighteen. You can't. Eighteen. He, that, that's where he was. He was the but real if you, deal. If you, you if ain't you, got a if chance. If you beat him up below eighteen, you're 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 going to jail. No, but that's not the question. The question is, what age can you? All right, I'm I, I going to say attempt. Attempt. Yeah. Ten. Find an eight-year-old that, you know, had no parents. It's, it's tough. He had no parents. He was just on the street fighting. Six. Um. Yeah. Six. T six. 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 Same age as my. So you beat up six year old. Same age as my daughter. Six. You think that's the last time you could have beat up? Uh, you think a seven-year-old Mike Tyson could beat you up? I don't trust a seven-year-old Mike Tyson. A, a, a six-year-old Mike Tyson won't come back for revenge. A seven-year-old Mike Tyson will come back at 12 to beat you up. You have to sleep anyway. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> a little Mike Tyson's on the case. This question is from Pete the Waterman. And this is a, it's just a little... Pete the Waterman? At the... the hell is that? Oh, sorry, sorry. The Twitter man. What? Even worse? That's his name on Twitter. What word has five letters but has one when two are removed? Five. F I V E. What word? Wait, hang on. What word has five letters, yeah. but, but has one when one. two are removed? G O A T. It's got. It's got to have O N E in it. Loner. Perfect. Why? why how did you? Why, hold on. Hold on. How did you come to that conclusion? A genius. It has to have O N E in it. Yeah, it's got to have one in it. One. Loner. L and R. Take them away. You got one in it. Loner. Five letters, take two away, there's one left. Okay. I got an A in GCSE maths. Is it? This is GCSE English. You said maths. I got, <laughs> I got a double B. Double B? Double B. You are good with words. Yeah, you were revising, man. <laughs> revising? I, I had a TA. What's that? I was like, a TN. TN? Teacher yeah, assistant? So, yeah. So there was two teachers in my class. One at the front, one sitting next to me. Because I needed work. I was in trouble, man. You're a smart guy. Yeah, I'm a smart guy now, but then I was, I was, I was all over the place. Well, I mean, there's there's a few decent questions here, but a lot of them are just um, jokes about Theo that I think Theo's probably deals with on his show, uh, pitch side, every week. <laughs> so are they just abusing me? Yes, yeah, a lot of them. Yes. <laughs> don't love- go on. Don't go on TikTok and look at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I love internet abuse, man. I love it. Do you know what it is? I get, I'm now target because anything I say about football, even if I'm speaking straight facts, and if someone said it next to me who is a respected person in football would say the same thing, think, wow, you're so smart. But because I say it, they go, wow, you're so dumb. Yeah. You're not used to it. Yeah, I, well, it's the same way with me. But ultimately, what I know, oh, yeah, he gets as well. what I know that they don't know is how much smarter I am than them. It's very true. And how I'm always right in the end. It's very Are true. Are you really right at the end though? Yeah. Are you too? I said That's Arsenal were going to win the league after day one. But mm. I got. Do you know how much? Do you know how much shit I got? You did say that on day. W- yep, day dot. Was that so- Arsenal lost like the first game of the season? I said Arsenal will still win the league. And I said Dan Byrne would sign for Newcastle. Dan Byrne's great. That's, and that's- I said Roy Hodgson will go back to Palace. You never said that. I did say that. You said Roy Hodgson. How do? How? But why would you say that? Why would that come in your brain? You've ruined Crystal Palace. Because it happened. Roy Hodgson coming back. Do you, yeah. do you remember when Wilfred Zaha was when Chris Palace were winning under Vieira? He's mm. like, it's so nice. We're actually passing and trying to attack. Is that Zaha? Not like last year. Yeah. And now, <laughs> now, he's back. now Hodgson's back. I met, Roy, I met Roy Hodgson once. Was it? On a plane. No way. Yeah. Did you get a picture? Yeah. Was he nice? Yeah. He was, he was the nicest guy. He was just chatting to his neighbour the, in the plane. 
the whole flight and I was earwigging it. He was just talking about football. He's so he's up there. He's all there. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. He's yeah. still there. Yeah. But he's, he was he was he was he was just making time for everyone. He was just, he was just a gentleman. Yeah. He's really? not good with money though. Huh? What? He's not good with money now. Why? Oh, yeah. My missus at the time was his financial advisor. She told me a lot about his um uh, uh Qatar Island account. Mm. What's a Qatar Island account? It's a uh, Qatar Island is like um it's the second. The biggest private bank in the UK. Oh, is it like... Um, the first is Coots, second is Cutter Island, third is JP Morgan, I believe. Okay. I've heard of Coots. Mm-hmm. Coots is proper. He's got Coots. You, you have <laughs> I've to, not got a Coots account. A, a minimum of 100k for I Coots I thought it was a minimum of 500k. Well, maybe they changed it. Yeah, I mean, you, you might be right because I think they closed down Tiny Temple and Kano's account. So those guys <laughs> were making that money. <laughs> Since you tried all those you guys, can't disrespect Tiny Tempe, you know. Oh, he's, that's my that's my friend, man. I'm trying to get him on there. It's my boy. It's a goat. He's a goat. You think he's a goat? I love him, mate. His songs were my childhood. What 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 what, what um? Oh, Pastor. written in the stars, a million miles he away. He performed at um WrestleMania, right? Brighton Center. Oh. Wait, one more. He did perform WrestleMania. He performed at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. So, what, do you think he was bigger than Dizzy Rascal? <sighs> yeah, no, you must be Dizzy Rascal or Tiny Tempe, in your opinion. Oh, Dizzy Rascal sort of. A few things against him recently. Yeah, he has. He has. But it's can't Tiny can't like Bonkers. Does a property show. Mm-hmm. Bonkers was a banger. Well, of course it was. Bonkers is what, for, for me is his best song. Yeah, it is. Oh, by far, it gets me hyped every look, time. Look, fix up, look sharp. <laughs> That's Holiday. Not his best song, no. Holiday was a great song. Work. Off to work I go. And <laughs> I so. <hope. laughs> yeah, I think Dizzy Wild School. I mean, Dizzy Wild School was over Tiny Temple, right? I don't know, you know. I think long. Ge- I think long I think it's tiny, tiny Temper. What? I would go I Dizzy it. Rascal because yeah, Dizzy Rascal's first album. But Tiny Temper does have great music, and he and his he's got actually got a good project called the Number Ten Mixtape. I think it was called. Who's got more money, Buzz? Who's got more money? Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll be close. I think Tiny Temper. Tiny Temper's up there because oh, Premier League money, yeah, WrestleMania Ooh, money. WrestleMania. Dizzy, you got to do WrestleMania man to keep up, man. <laughs> Performing at WrestleMania is a big deal, boys. <sighs> well, that was uh, Serious Sundays. You mm-hmm. know what it's time for now? I'm in wrestling. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Wrestler. Mm-hmm. John Cena. No, no, no. Oh. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. <sighs> Randy Orton. Okay, okay we'll good. give you that. Good. But I see, I only watched WrestleMania. I only watched like WWE for like a bit of secondary school. Only a few years. So I had like Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Undertaker, John Cena... Seamus. Seamus. Triple H. Oh, do you know I did like um who was Triple H like arch rival? Long air. Edge. No, with a kick. Oh, Shawn Michaels. Michaels. Shawn Michaels, wow, what guy. You like Shawn Michaels? I love Shawn Michaels there, random times all. He, he was yeah, in that, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. What did you think of the Undertaker? Really interesting guy. Because he's on podcasts now. On what whose podcast? Oh, he's been on a lot. He's been on I a, saw him on Joe Rogan. He's been on Joe Rogan. I thought it was brilliant. Sat with Mike Tyson. That's so cool. Um, I, thought, I, quite, I quite like the fact that he's like a natural human. Yeah, it's too late now. But yeah, yeah but he, he, he kept up that Undertaker persona for so many years. And even when he, speak, when he speaks on other people's podcasts, it's quite interesting to hear like, like his whole body is f- <laughs> Like he's, he, I don't know how he did it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, he, his it, dedication was up he, there, 100%. Serious athlete. But something, I think something's wrong with him though. Why, like, that he, sh- like, he showed me that he took wrestling way too seriously to walk past interviews on the way home. <laughs> he didn't stop for a second to be like, yeah, da-da. He, no press conferences. He just took it very seriously. But that, w- that was The Undertaker. Like when, the, when the, 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 the lights turn off and the noise. That's the best, that's the best. Whoever come up with the idea, that's the best thing I've ever seen. Just goes off. Slows that thing down now. Oh, that's well, that's amazing. So good. So why, he did why, it twenty years undefeated at WrestleMania. So why is he not your number one then? Why, are you, why have you gone with Randy Orton? The Undertaker? Because Randy Orton had like the flair. He had like the, you know, the slivering up behind you and just RKO. Even, even though the RKO is kind of like, you know, it's a steal from Stone Cold Stunner in a way. Well, it's stolen from Diamond Dallas Page's Diamond Car. Oh my God! So it's t- twice. <laughs> Shawn Michaels for me then the kick. That's what I used to do on my brother. He used to, he used to have sex with a lot of them, the, the girls behind the scenes, you know? How do you know that? Well, we do research. How do you know? 
and they go on podcasts now. I love podcasts because they expose. Yeah. <laughs> and they say that, yeah, Shawn Michaels was digging all of us out. Really? Like he had a small swamp. Dog. So, um, yeah, he, he was he was a ladies' man. It's quite cool. Triple H now owns the gaff, doesn't he? Yeah, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Triple H, it just looks wrong. Uh, to marry Stephanie McMahon just to get close to Vince is selfish. <laughs> in my opinion. Maybe they're, maybe they're in love. Well, they got three children. Wasn't Triple H and Shawn Michaels actually best friends? Yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah. were best friends. They weren't enemies, weren't they? Yeah, they were best, best, best friends. But they were enemies at times, but they were best friends, yeah. Did yeah, you? Because Triple H team. put Shawn Michaels in charge of NXT when he took over from Vince. Oh, so you bust him? Is it? How much do you reckon like, a w, like John Cena got paid by WWE a year? I think whatever John Cena got paid, I think is a bump. I think he's one of the worst guys to ever step in what? the WWE. I think he's he, terrible. I'm not even joking. He carried WWE carried for years. Carried where? How? He did. He did. Carried? John Cena, you've got to remember, without all the kids that supported John Cena, WWE would have just But gone. why did they support him? Because he was just Because so he was rapping. In in four in four cool limb jeans. He had like the you can't see me. That, that, that's yeah, the, he he created an era. Never give up. That's so basic. Baby nah, he created an era. It. John Cena was elite. Muhammad Ali said that years ago. Yeah, butterfly stick I like a bee. John Cena never give up. Arguably the biggest WWE player player what? of all time. Player. <laughs> what? Yeah, he is. You think he's bigger than The Rock? You think he's bigger than Stone Cold? You think he's bigger than Hulk Hogan? I think, you think maybe he's the, him in The Rock. John Cena in The Rock. He's bigger than Stone Cold. Yeah, because of what they went on. All right, in let me ask you this. Though. They're now Hollywood actors. All right, let me ask you this. Batista. Oh. Wait there. Wait there. Let me ask you this. I think John Cena's top three of all time. The other day, WrestleMania. He could be top three of all time. I this, genuinely, genuinely, it's John Cena. It's John. Yeah, no, it's John Cena. He's out. You're out. Of date. He Stone Cold Steve Austin. He could be. Yeah, mate. He's all right. When did he last? Then what's going on? Stone Cold's only had a run of like three years. All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask John you this. Cena's Anyone still under doing the age of uh, twenty don't know who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. All right, so basically, you know, there's you know, there's people, that, there's kids who support Arsenal. Don't know, they don't even know Henri. That's not how it works. But there was, they're gonna soon say Eddie Aketia over Henri. They don't know that though. Mm. Stone Cold is, I've never the Watts. Who the bald heads? Who the what? What's the what? That's what he used to say what? You don't remember Stone Cold? What? What? Yeah, Stone Cold. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Did he come back? Yeah. He came he, back last year. I can't believe he has. He didn't store Stone Cold Steve Austin T. Yeah, but his era doesn't have Stone Cold Steve Austin. But Stone Cold, he made appearances though T. He saw the reactions from the crowd. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you boys this. Uh, who, would, who would join? Who, no, let me ask you this. All right, go on. <laughs> <laughs> right now, if they said John Cena at the O2 in London, or Stone Cold Steve Austin at the O2 in London, John Cena gets a bigger crowd. You got to remember, Stone Cold's got kids in Essex. He does. So he might he's have a community already built. He's here. got English babe bum. Yeah, yes. <laughs> John Cena's not really. And and you got a picture of John Cena in London. Go walking into a hotel. I did. Yeah. With my mommy. Yeah. John Cena would would would, would sell tickets. But I saw Dizzy Rascal sell out O2 the other day. Yeah. So it doesn't like did anyone really? can sell out O2. Yeah. Anyone too. Just a couple of days ago. Did he perform bonkers? He performed everything. No, no he just boy the corner. first album. Yeah. Well, he didn't do bonkers. No. Yeah, I guess I bet. He if did I do. went to go see Dizzy Rascal and he didn't do bonkers, I would ask my money back. Yeah. yeah. You know them bands that have like That's a festival a, song. You know them bands <laughs> that have like a new album come out and they go and perform and they only perform their new stuff and everyone's like, why haven't you played your old stuff? Yeah, yeah. Where the hits? Yeah. Listen, the other day at WrestleMania, they brought back uh, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and Stone Cold. Just those three, and those guys celebrated their thirty years of Raw. Thirty years, thirty years yeah. of Raw. Yeah. And obviously, everyone knows they were the biggest. Why wasn't John Cena there? Because he's not there yet. Different era. Yeah, I think he was there. John Cena wasn't there. John Cena's at WrestleMania next I, week. I'm talking about the three people in the ring that day too. At, at Raw, Raw 30, yeah. yeah. I feel like they're where was, era, where was, they're a bit older than John. Where was the rest of them? Because they didn't want, because John Cena's wrestling, they didn't want him to be in that company of guys who just, they're just you're sitting making, on podcasts. You're making excuses, man. I, I, I don't even think John Cena's bigger than Race Mysterio. He is though. The Rock is a bigger actor than he was a wrestler. The Rock's the only one that can act out of all, all of them. Batista can't act. Batista John Cena can't act. Oh no, act. Batista's so good, man. Batista he's he's oh, so God. good at playing like a dumb big guy. <laughs> they can't, they, them guys can't act. Batista can act, John Cena's brilliant. Batista cannot act. John Cena's funny. John Cena's John funny, funny in yeah. films. He's funny in films. Um, Daddy's Home 2. Fast and Furious. One of the, Fast and Furious is the worst film to ever come out ever in the world. I tend yeah, to only agree. from six onwards. Seven onwards. No, all of them are terrible. Fast cars is moving very fast. It's terrible. There's not even a bad card. Nah, no, the one where when uh, Thingy Ooh. dies, Paul Walker dies. That's um, one of no, the. No, that was that was nice because he obviously died. But the rest of them, it's shocking. 
Shocking. So we're just going to look at John Batista Sanders. in uh, Guardians Glass of Onion. The oh, good in Glass Onion. And in Guardians of the Galaxy. No. He's a massive yeah. actor. Batista's huge. You yeah, so me good. Glass Onion. Yet. I did, but you talked about it on this show. And did, you, was like, you, you and Jordy were like, oh, no, no. Was he holding it. a gun in the front cover? No. Okay. Did you like Glass Onion? I haven't watched it. it. He, he, oh, it's so good. to watch it. It's really good. Let me put my notes right now. It is really good. Um, John Cena is um, The Peacemaker, which is a very successful TV show now. That's on uh, Sky Atlantic, I think. Um, Suicide, Squad. Suicide Squad, where he plays the Peacemaker, which the character has now got his own I series. Good. They're funny. Uh, what about Logan Paul? He's amazing. I give him his condoms all the time. He is amazing. Bit of an athlete, right? I've, I think, give Logan Paul six more months, he'll be bigger and um, better than John Cena. Dylan, Dylan's just told us that he's, he's seen it and he reckons that Batista's got the biggest dick in wrestling. It's impossible. I would have seen it through the pants. <laughs> There's no way Batista... But, mate, if you're rocking around in just tighties, which him, he did, didn't he, Batista? And so did Randy Orton. You've got to be confident, man. There's a reason John Cena wears the large shorts. Because he's got the small... Small... And you and he's in your top three. You better take him out. Swat, you, better, <laughs> you better swap Batista I've got to put one of my own in the top three. Who? Who's your own? Oh, are you? What, you... Are you bricked up? You, you can't be bricked up. Your situation. You, I've, I've never seen a situation that's, that's got a. Never in my life. You bricked up. You black. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh, for your man. All right, well, that was Remember Wrestling. WrestleMania's coming next week. Remember, to, are we coming up with this wrestling format soon? Because I yeah, 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 I've got gonna my gonna whole do some Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what we're going to do now? Uh, this is Noble's News. No. We're going to help Rikishi. Who? Hey? Rikishi Sunak is the uh, new prime minister of this country. Richie Sunak. How call him Rikishi? Why? Because Rikishi was a wrestler. Remember Rikishi? No. Okay, so he was a wrestler, so... I have to um, connect wrestlers with the prior prime minister in politics to know politics. Yeah, it's a tough one out there. It's a tough I? one, isn't it? It's you tough I mean? Because Liz Truss was prime minister. Boris, now Rikishi. Mm -hmm. Look at Liz Truss. Boris, face. I only know, Boris was like a, it was like a, it was quite a comedic. Yes. It but was, I, and everyone knows that Boris Johnson was a prime minister, but I don't think everyone knows that Liz Truss was the prime no, minister. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't think people could pick her in, out of a lineup. I think if you went, out in the street, 100 people asked them, who is this? Three would get it. Yeah, yeah I agree. So Richie Sinek's current prime minister? He's the current prime minister, yeah. Liz Truss is all right, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like situations like that where the head is <coughs> stop here. It just, it goes <laughs> Does she look like Theresa May? <laughs> no, no, no. She doesn't look it. No, she's, she's much younger than Theresa May. So how, how, hang on a minute. How have we had so many prime ministers since lockdown? Have we? Yeah. Because we How have long an, was Liz Truss in charge? We're an awful country. Yeah, Liz, she was in charge for about a week. Liz Truss? Is it? I don't remember this. She was Prime Minister for about a week, yeah. Really? Just, yeah. She took over from Boris after Boris was... Um, uh, Exiled. The, the party gate and all Where that. is Boris now? What's he doing now? He's going to... He's about to make a presentation about what he was doing during COVID because he was breaking all the rules. Are they still going about the parties he threw? Why yeah. would he not just try and ignore it and like walk away to mm. the Bahamas? There's, yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I like instead, he, instead of bringing it back up again. Do you know why? Do you know what the sad thing is? He he thinks, and he's probably right, that he'll be prime minister again. Because he thought when, when Liz Truss, Liz Truss basically tried to bring a new budget to the country, right? To go, here's what we're doing with the money. That blew up, cra crashed the economy. Boris was there with his hand up like, I'll come back. I'll come back. <laughs> and there were a lot me. of people going like, get Boris back in right now. I want to ask you a question. When, you, when, when you're a prime minister and like they get rid of you, whatever call, how do you start, like, how do you make money? Or do they pay you off? So I asked, I've, I was confused about this. Yeah. Like, apparently, if you're like a, a, a P, no, what is it? A, a, a person, you know, like a politician. Mm -hmm. Member of parliament. Member of parliament. You get yeah. a salary. You get a salary, yeah. You're paid. But when, once you're prime minister, you actually earn like £100,000 a year for life. What? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, because Forever. yeah, because like there's a lot of like your John personal... Major still gets a hundred bags a year. Something like that, yeah. John Major. Yeah. What about Tony Blair? Tony Blair, yeah. But 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 these guys Gordon also, Brown. 
Yeah, yeah. But the, the thing can't is, even see. if you've ever been Prime Minister, and, and Theo knows this, because the amount of people that must approach Theo and be like, Theo, we give you £20,000 to come and talk at our lectures because of all your experience and your amazing success. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us how you did so well on stereo. Um, <laughs> um, We've got to ban that, you know? Yeah, we have to ban we that. We have to ban that. <laughs> no, they, they, owe, they, they owe me money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Someone like Tony Blair, the amount of times he gets booked for like half a million pounds to go and talk to half business a million leaders quid. and yeah, yeah. That, oh, once you get once you get Tony into, Blair, once you get into the business world, <laughs> Tony like, Blair comes in here and talks to Phil Fellas. He's no, getting a, no, it's the CEO of this bank. But there's so the many CEO dumb people of, in charge of the, all these are dumb CEOs. Are just, who's paying Tony? If Blair? I knew, uh, if I, I knew this, pay, I would have gone for prime minister. I would rather have Cal Freezy come in than Tony Blair. Yeah, to oh, Tony Blair's got some stories though. Yeah, I bet he does. But also, like, um, if you're like an oil company and you want to know how you stop the government from shutting down your your new oil drilling campaign, pay Tony Blair half a million pounds and go, Tony, go on, show us what we need to do. Go, go, go phone your mates and tell them, yeah, they're all right. They, they'll let you dig. I'm sorry, I'm, bu I'm bullying Tony Blair a little bit. They'll, it'll be the same with um, Margaret Theresa Thatcher. May, Margaret Thatcher. It'll be the same with all of them. That's quick. I can't believe. If I knew this from when I was young, I would have tried to go for, for, for head office. You could still do it. Head office. It's too late, it's too late man. No, it's too late. Why? So Gordon Brown. He was my favourite, by the way. He was just the way he looked. He looked like he had everything from a tin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what Does anyone says. Yeah, like I loved. I loved the way he looked. Wasn't there something like uh, he wasn't allowed to drive? Was he? Because he was actually blind. No, that was um, no Gordon Brown was like, David Blunkett. No, David, or Gordon Brown was like half blind. Was Gordon Brown blind? Because remember he had that incident in the car and he got caught on the phone or something. He got caught on a... Oh, Fight for Eyesight in New Memoir. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. done, yeah. What, what, blind, like, the, what, with a stick or he's wearing glasses? <laughs> he's wearing glasses or he's got a stick to you? I think he completely lost <laughs> eyesight. Right? He might completely lose eyesight during his third year in Downing Street. So, yeah, he was... It's like... What's his face? Palace manager. Hudson. Hudson. 75 years old. Yeah. How have Palace gone, we're going to play progressive football with Patrick Vieira, a nice, a nice young manager. Young players, young team. And they've got a 75 year old man in. I'm oh. not being ageist. Yeah, no, we can he'll, be. He'll struggle, he'll struggle to communicate with Eze and Elise and Decore at the same time. Like, like, uh, why doesn't he just retire? Why can't he just go to he a does beach? Retire. Go to a beach. Never forget during lockdown, there was rules about people his age even being allowed to mix with people. They had to make special rules for him to even be able to coach Crystal Palace. Really? Yeah. So are we seeing well, like one of the things that Ricky Shakur should change is maybe forced retirement for over seventy year olds. <laughs> no, I don't think we should do that. No. Because you're, 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 you, obviously he, he said, "Well, Hudson's coming back at seventy five. You said um, Boris plans to come back, yeah. possibly at seventy five. Well, Biden's <laughs> like eighty, isn't he? Yeah. Biden's eighty. Trump's that up there. We don't, want, we don't, you know, we don't want these guys still in. You know, I mean, but Sunak must be quite young. What, 35, 40? He's got, he's, yeah, like it's got to be. You got to be under fifty to be doing these, be head office, man. Reese Sunak's got to be in his forties. He's forty two. That is very young. That is young, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite impressive, really. It's older than our tour. How? What, what? What are your plans when you're seventy? What are you planning on being like? Oh, 70. Uh, but I just, I just want to chill. I want my, my room, my bedroom, my, and my front room to be on the same floor, the kitchen. A bungalow. I want a bungalow, bro. <laughs> I want a bungalow, man. There's no stairs for nothing. The next generation of old people are going to have like PlayStations and that. Yeah, golf. That's quite mad, yeah. you know. PGA and golf for them. Yeah. 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 yeah it's it's going to happen, though. So they should bring out games where on the age in the bottom right corner of the, of the, of the case, yeah. it says 80 plus. Yeah. Or games where like you go online to play Call of Duty and mm. you go in an eighty plus room. Yeah, like, I'm only playing against eighty pluses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There we go. If that's I a good idea. You when you were down. But it's like assisted, like sight, ass assisted movement. Like like it's a little bit easier. Yeah, it's easier. Yeah, they yeah, delete yeah. like four buttons. Yeah, the computer plays with you. But what were we saying? Have you thought of any new laws that you think? Oh, yesterday I thought about something. Go on. Ban universities. Ban universities. What's the point of unis? Great Education. Do doctors. Yeah. T. Scientists, 
I mean, we Victorians. we walked we walked into a uni yesterday. How are you gonna get brain surgery without a uni? But it's just I feel like I saw some uni guys that have obviously watched Filthy and they're ready to skip lecture to hang around with me. Oh yeah, but that happens all the yeah, but that happens all the time. They're not they're not they're not, they're not serious about fixing any brains out here. <laughs> Do you, know what, do you know what it is? A lot of people go to uni just to find themselves and to just experience the uni life. Whereas some people go to uni to become doctors. Like without uni, you can't become a doctor. But without so it's just, yeah, uni, so you can just go do so work. Change in like that, man. PR. Change what, what, that. Like make a, make a uni plus. Like the, you're, you're in uni, have fun, but you're in uni plus. Or uni You're going to be a doctor. Yeah. 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 Whatever. No Don't forget, parting allowed for uni plus. Yeah. Forget yeah. all that, man. I was, I, was at, I was in Leicester yesterday. I was at Leicester uni. I stood, I looked at everyone. Everyone just wanted to go home. Every single person was looking for hey, an it's excuse. It's the same as school, innit? Like, no one wants to learn. It's not school. I was in Leicester yesterday, yeah. What are you doing there? Janae? Yeah. Was she there? No, so, yeah, I, I, I didn't call her. Okay. I, but I know she, she hates that stuff. But yeah, my daughter goes to Leicester Uni. And I was there. How old are you? I'm 25. <laughs> She's 18. <laughs> There's no rules, man. <laughs> <It's those. laughs> when my mum passed away, someone just came and said, you gotta look after her too. I'm thinking, damn, who's gonna look after me? <laughs> <laughs> the most looked after <laughs> man on the planet as well, by the way. Imagine that, T. <laughs> oh my God, but yeah, I got an eight-year-old, man. And she's at uni. And I was there yesterday. And I, was, I just looked around, I thought to myself, this here could be like, are you, are you being serious? I'm being dead serious. I was there yesterday thinking this should be a five-a-side pitch. This could be a, a swimming facility. It could be something else. This doesn't have to be classes. I reckon your top's 33. 35. Oh, age. 35. 25. 35. That's what, man. Flip it all. Are you 38? I'm, that's closer to... Um, poet. <laughs> no, well, forget poet. Poet is older than poet. No, that's, uh, that's closer to the, um, the Prime Minister. 42. Yeah. Yeah. Are you 42? No! Are you like Benjamin Button? Who's that? So you just don't age, you just go backwards. No, I'm 25. I'm 25, but I, it, my, my, I'm not like everybody else where like next year it's 26. You just stay 25. 27, 25, year skip. Next one, 26. So I always skip a year. Oh, you're like a dog. Yeah. Which makes you what age? If you were doing normal years. What do you mean now, if I was in normal years? I'm 27. <laughs> <laughs> so you only started skipping of last course, year. Of course. Team. Anyone you know? around like, on your show know your age? No one. How do I? Well, with TikTok feeling know my age. T -t 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 TikTok. The, was it? No, the birthday. Famous uh, birthdays. Famousbirthdays.com. They yeah. feeling know my age. They think that I'm 41 years old, and they're completely wrong. How old do you think? I, honestly, in your spirit, what does your spirit say? Like when you look at me. That's a good question. Yeah, because we'll you're, tell you if you're right or wrong. You're like wise. Then it's wise. He's right. wise. You're wise. Yeah, he's a wise man. <laughs> I genuinely wise. think you're like one of them Benjamin Button kind of guys. That you're like 39, 40. You think so? 40. That's over. Over. Yeah. 35. Yeah, 35, close. yeah. It's close. You're close, yeah. Have you got anything, Theo, that you think if, if Rikishi should close serious about being the Prime Minister, he needs to just fix in this country right now? Or something that you hate? Obviously, you complain about that your bike, you couldn't park your bike earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get rid of line bike parking spaces. Just let us put them anywhere. Yeah. Um, that was great back in the I day. I would say just sort of stop the rise of everything as in price wise oh god yeah we have to stop inflation it's stop inflation because it's getting out of hand it's ridiculous it's getting out of hand I thought about that I messaged you the other day I said, I said is this algorithm's very high yeah I started to realise hold on I'm spending a lot of money yeah every, everything now is expensive mm. like before back in the day you could just like you know get through it and it wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it but now I'm noticing everything's expensive Richie's still got to sort something out here even, even line bikes line bikes went up to 23p a minute yeah. I remember when it was 17p a minute 23 if Tesco meal deal oh, crazy is, that's five pound, pound meal deals now three pound for 50 three pound but that if you, yeah, one. yeah 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 but now you got to use the club card to get reduced yeah. and Tesco's getting rid of club cards nah. they're replacing it with something called Tesco grocery oh, I can't, what's the point it's going to be a whole new system that's so boring but you know, what it means is these supermarkets they're figuring us out do you know what is crazy I saw TikTok on it the other day Lidl a lot of like basic stuff at Lidl like milk bread that sort of stuff same price as Waitrose own brand. Wow. Same price. Yeah, obviously your overall shop will probably be more expensive, yeah, but yeah, the but basics that's what you realize is same price. Co-op's the best example. You go into a co-op and you buy something and you think, 
normally things are cheap, but this pack of hobnobs is three pound fifty. Yeah, they just some things are just way out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Percy pigs, Percy pigs are one pound eighty nine. Well, Marks and Spencers they suppress their costs because they've got um, control of their supply line. Well, they put it down. No, they just they don't have to rise because the they, they were high before this high stuff. Exactly. Anyway, that's why. Go and buy a flipping jacket potato from Mark Spencers. Oh, you give him tenner, you're not getting nothing back. I tell you what, it's they are stuff. good though. Some it's good stuff. They're, they're, yeah. yeah, it is just good though, isn't it? I bought some macaroni cheese. Oh, it's in, it's in my fridge right now. I can't wait. Macaroni cheese is boring, man. What? Why macaroni. go out for dinner? Instead of going out for dinner and spending forty pound, go to Waitrose or, or M and S and treat yourself to a ten pound meal deal. It's a great new <gasps> deal. It's pie. <laughs> oh my God. I'm putting a microwave. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I make holes. In the pop, 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 pop. Oh my. Yeah, we're having shepherd's pie tonight. I don't care what anyone tells you, man. I love that cover. You, as soon as you open that cover, all the mints is underneath. <laughs> oh my God, what a roof. What a roof. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> shepherd's pie. <laughs> All right, before we lose Theo, we're gonna do some quick no rules news stories. This one's from thehill.com. The hill? The hill.com. Zebra bites Ohio man's arm before deputy puts animal down. No way. Yeah. Man, Ohio is such a weird place here. <laughs> it, it, it's such a weird place. Have you been to Ohio? Been? Nah, but every every time there's something weird going on in the world, it's Ohio. always in Ohio. <laughs> I didn't even know there were zebras in, in Ohio. This is the thing. There, there's everything. There's more There's more lions in Florida than there are in Africa. What? Carol Baskin. That means they're nicking these lions then. Yeah. Because the lions are meant to be all the way in Africa, no? They do nick them though, yeah. There's a big black market for exotic animals. That's, that's a shame, man. All these Sad. Lines with the African roar, you know the accent. Yeah. Oh. They're doing it in, in America. In America, in accents now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Y'all don't give a damn, man. <laughs> American accents are one of the worst accents ever, man. Y'all tripping. Uh, according to an incident report from the Pickaway County Sheriff's Office, deputies were sent around 5.30 p.m. to a fenced field after reports that a man was seriously injured by a zebra he owned. So this man owns his own well, zebra. Well, well, zebra. Yeah, but yeah. the zebras aren't aggressive. Exactly. So why would it switch? He must have. He must like hit it or something. Yeah, it must hit the the swamp. Tree something bad. Dodge yeah. a higher guy. Um, uh, apparently they got there and the man was laying on the floor with his arm covered with his sleeve, um, and they said that his arm had been bitten off. There's just no way a zebra's biting an arm off someone. Are they, strong? Are they got teeth that strong? They got crocodile teeth as well. You, but how? How is he? How is he? He's not going to bite off. He's not a crocodile where you can just snap it off. He's got to gnaw through it. Mm. It's not happening. Wild animals can do weird stuff, though, man. He must have been yamming on it for ages, didn't he? This next story: Yahoo News. Japanese birth rate plunges to new record low. Politician blames citizens' lack of romantic ability. Well, no, he said no one's beaten. Yeah. No, is it? No Japanese not? They're not beaten. The Japanese aren't romantic, apparently. Is it? Dash. Do you think of them as a romantic people? I think, yeah, surely. I never see them holding hands when they're walking. <laughs> I never seen. I've never seen Japanese that's couple your hands. definition of romance. Well, of course. Yeah, they've got like amazing restaurants and sake. Surely there's a bit of a romance under the table. No, not even. I've never seen like a Japanese owner of a restaurant kiss his wife in a restaurant. I love you. Never see that. You sure, don't go yeah. to Japanese restaurants. Of course I do. Sushi. You don't like sushi. I go look at it. <laughs> I go look at it, but yeah, I don't see Japanese people doing lovely things. What's the what's the most romantic nation? French. Oh, one hundred percent is French. You reckon? Of course. Yeah, Paris. Yeah, Paris. Not you know Italian. I mean? Oh. Yeah. Now I go Italian. I'm going f- French. Just, it, are we too Eurocentric though? Italian. Oh, you're telling me Americans are more romantic? No, definitely not. I'm not going to say Irish. Brazilian. I'm not going to say Irish. I wish not romantic. I know the guy is the guy's missus, but they're gonna rock after five pints. Italians. It's hundred percent Italian. My friend was Italian. I never, I never heard his mum and dad. You got romantic Asian. with him though. Yeah, you did. You bashed no, each other no, off. We, we were coned off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coned off. Uh, last but not least, I want to talk about six nine. He got beat up in it. Did he see six nine get? Uh, he was in jail. 
No, no, he's, he snitched. So he didn't go to jail. Uh, and he ended up um, getting into... A fight in a gym. Yeah, he got, he got <laughs> rushed in a gym while wearing denim short shorts. Why is he in the gym in denim short shorts? He got ru- That's why he got battered. He's wearing John Cena's shorts. Legit, his shorts. legit, probably. If the video... The, can't the wear video. denim short shorts in the gym. <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show you a bit of footage here. It's important that we get context. There he is on the floor. He's at LA Fitness in socks and short shorts. And this guy's uh, kicking him, beating him. Oh. He's doing some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, spinning on his back. Why is he, why is he not with someone in the gym? There was one guy with him, but I just don't think that was enough of a guy to help him in that situation. Here he is walking. He's got his short shorts and his dreads, his multicolored dreads. But how, where, where's like the security? I mean, in the you gym. go to the gym, don't you? There's not a lot of security. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing there's a like he goes to like quite a high end gym. It's just mm. an LA fitness in Florida. Apparently. Do you know what I'm speaking to you? I think he got comfortable because there was a time where everyone wanted to beat him up and then it, it faded. So he thought, oh, it's done. No one cares about me. But someone, 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 boy. I mean, beating up people in the gym is that's not a stinker. Yeah, yeah fighting in the gym. For me. I've seen videos of people fighting in the gym because you know what, gym is actually one of the best places to go to to not get beaten up because mm. people are generally very respectful because they know someone might be really strong. There's a lot of heavy yeah. equipment around. Everyone just leave each other alone. But it looks like they got him in the toilet. Yeah, that's a good that's shout. That's a poor yeah. move. Well, that's a good yeah. move because there's no weights in there. It's safe. So it's, it's safe. safe. Yeah. You just you stick the 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 you know you put your hands yeah, yeah, the yeah, dryer on. You beat man up, no one can hear you. Surprised he's not got like someone with him, like as if. Six Nine's going to an LA fitness. Yeah. He's yeah. Off. It's a stinker. He's he's mirrors, like I say, he must have got too comfortable. His mirrors are off. Yeah. But he, at least it was just a beat up, man. It could have been worse, isn't it? Could have been but worse. But no, even just like, if you go to LA fitness, he's probably going to get recognized there. Do you not feel a bit self conscious, yeah. like on the treadmill when everyone's staring at you? But he must have he must have done it a million times before. Jekin. That's weird. He's man, trying to get strong. It's, it's, it's been a funny week because just the, last week there was a rapper that got beat up in a club and got carried out. But um, that is no rule show. With the great Theo Baker. Theo Baker, my GG. Thank you for having me. AKA Mr. Perfect. You may be really hungry now. Is it? We, oh, we'll yeah, talk shep- about food, food the whole yeah, hour. Cottage pie. Cottage pie, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie, yeah. You're going to go for the macaroni cheese. Yeah. yeah. And Starburst. With, and for afters. Skittles and Starburst. Cake and custard. Cake and custard from the pocket. Tottenham cake. From the pocket. Tottenham cake. Ooh. With custard. Oh, my Lord. Ah! Hopefully there's Greg's around here. People, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, that's been No Rules. That's the first time I said that, isn't it? This year. And uh, see you next week because consistency is key.